What's going on guys and gals, my name is Shadox, and on this week's episode of Weapon History, we will be taking a look at a little known submachine gun, the Irma Machine and Pistol, or EMP. After the Great War, it became evident to all nations that the submachine guns were the ideal choice for close quarters fighting. Weapons like the MP-18 and Beretta Model 1918 proved effective in the trenches. And the MP-18 in particular was so effective that part of the Treaty of Versailles prohibited Germany from testing and procuring similar weapons. But, as records would later show, this clause was hardly followed. Today's weapon is a result of this secrecy, the Irma machine and pistol. In the 1920s, Heinrich Fulmer began working on an improved version of the MP-18 that he had helped develop a few years prior. He wanted to retain the usability of the weapon while improving the ergonomics and reliability. These changes included the addition of a foregrip, a more reliable box magazine over the old drum, and the removal of the unnecessary barrel shroud. This weapon was named the Fulmer Machine and Pistol, or VMP, and it was investigated by the German military during secret trials for any upcoming conflicts. Fulmer's design was not selected for use, and when the Great Depression hit, he sold his rights to his design to Irma Verka. The weapon switched names from the Volmer machine and pistol to the Irma machine and pistol, and was then abbreviated EMP or MPE depending on what documents you look at. Interestingly enough, Irma was one of the companies that was responsible for manufacturing the MP38 and later the more successful MP40. And it is here that we can understand why the EMP isn't really that well known, but it was still highly influential. Irma manufactured about 10,000 of these submachine guns. A few were kept in Germany to be used by the Waffen SS, but the vast majority were sold to foreign powers, including Yugoslavia, Mexico, France, and possibly the largest customer was Spain. The EMP was used by both sides of the Spanish Civil War, the Republicans and the Nationalists. Spain also purchased rights to manufacture this weapon as well, so you may see or hear some people refer to this weapon as the M4144. They are essentially the same weapon, just made at different times and different places. This weapon would serve as a stepping stone for future German submachine guns and go through several design iterations, the MP36, MP38, and eventually the MP40. Overall, this is an interesting weapon from a time in between wars. It didn't see a whole lot of widespread use during World War II, but it still served its purpose, and fairly well. It's no wonder that this weapon is being included in Battlefield 5. My name is Shadox, and I hope to see you on the battlefield. <laughs>